If you've discovered the benefits of using your Zoom Handy Recorder as an audio interface for your DSLR, you'll know that there are so many ways to set it up. If you'd like to learn more about setting up the audio mixer called Monitor Mixer inside the H5 so you can route all these microphones to your camera or just selected ones, then stick around and you'll find out. The Monitor Mixer inside the H5 allows you to choose which channels you want to run to your camera. Unlike the standard stereo file mode, you have the option of being able to liven up all of the microphone inputs and record them to separate tracks on the recorder in the multi-file format. And in the monitor mixer, you can choose which of those microphone channels you want to route to your camera. So in this example, I'll show you how to record all of the inputs, the three inputs, but I'll only route the two microphones, the two professional microphones to the DSLR camera and the stereo microphones will be recorded to a separate stereo file as a redundancy track. Go into the menu, go into record mode, we've got record mode, stereo file at the moment, select multi-file, we go down and select in-out, then we select monitor mixer, and once we have it in Monitor Mixer, you can see on the left hand side, or firstly at the top, you can see it says Mixer Off. We need to activate the mixer because we want to select what goes out of the line output. So to switch that on, we press the record button. Now this won't start a recording because in this mode all it simply does is turn it on. So I'll just show you that again. There it's off. Now it's on. So with it on, on the left hand side, you'll observe that there's a little indicator. And basically what that is, is a little volume control called a pan control. And just underneath it, you've got a fader, like a slide fader on a mixer. If you press that, it will open up the left right channel. So I'm gonna select that. And you can see tracks left right, that's indicating these two microphones on the top. It's set up so that it's in the center, so uh, it's not faded to one side or the other. But you'll notice I've turned down this to mute. Now all that means is that I've muted what goes out the monitor lead. It will still record those tracks on the SD card. That's the beauty of it. And uh, just going to the next step now, we go back. I drag down the indicator to number one, which now is this microphone input. I select that. You can see on the left hand side, I've got the pan control turned completely to the left. And then if I go back, drag it down to number two, select number two. You can see the pan is still in the middle, but what I wanna be able to do is to send one microphone to the left side of the camera and number two microphone to the right side of the camera. So that then gives me the ability to be able to manipulate it later on. Now you might wanna put them both to the center and have them both go to both channels on the camera. That's totally up to you. I'm going to select this one and that probably should have been on center, but I'm gonna turn this pan right around to the right hand side and when it reaches a hundred percent it's as far as to the right as it possibly can now let's set up the microphone so that we can test that the level's right so we'll switch on inputs one and two and we'll test those test one two three four testing one two three four now you can see this number two microphone, which is the right hand one, uh, is going up above minus 12. I'd really like to get that down, so I turn the volume down so it reaches about, there it is, about minus 12 there. Now I'll check the left hand microphone. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. And your goal is to set it around minus 12. Let's liven up these top two microphones as well. 
So I've livened up the two top microphones and you'll notice straight away that they're not indicating on here. So that's not a problem. We'll go back to the main ones. There we have it. Right, so not only does the um, two XLR microphones show up now, but now we're out of the mixer. You can see that definitely the H5 sees these microphones as recording. So once we've got that set up, we can do a, a test recording. And the way we do that, to grab one of the microphones, press the record button, and it will start recording a file. We have a listen to it, and then see, see that it's nice and clean. Now the match between the microphones and the zoom recorder is sweet. We've connected the line out or monitor out to our camera and we've selected in the monitor mix for the left microphone to go into the left channel and the number two or right hand microphone in this case to go to the right hand side of the stereo tracks on the camera. We can go in and check to see the level that the camera is actually receiving it at. We go into sound recording and then select the record level and look I haven't even got the microphones up to my mouth and you can see that it's overdriving. It's got that red indicator at the end. So I'll have the microphone at the same distance as I set it up before and I start talking and I'm going to have to just go in and drop that level down. So as I speak you can see me dropping the level right down. And this is the big advantage in using a preamp. You can turn the camera's uh, sensitivity right down. And you'll notice that I've just about got that on zero. So I think that's, yep, that's zero. So one step up and I'm reaching the goal there of minus 12 dB. And it's, it seems to be very happy. The monitor mixer function on the H5 recorder is a really handy tool. Look, if you'd like to find out more information about the gear that I've used in the video, then please have a look in the description below. And look, leave a comment. If you've got a different way of using the monitor mixer, then please write it in the comments section. I'd really appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And don't forget to click on that little bell icon so you get a notification when we upload a new video. Until next time, I'll catch you later. If you've discovered the benefits of using your audio... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get it yet.